Hi everybody, Paul Hosley with the City of West Sacramento. We are live at the Barge Canal and we are watching Henry the Goat Herder get the goats ready that have been uh, eating tall weeds. At the Barge Canal and they are crossing the street now on Jefferson. We've shut down traffic temporarily and we're going to get the goats across over here to the Branch Line Trail and that's where we're going to be chomping weeds for fire suppression for the next few days. They've spent the week at the Barge Canal. So we're going to stand here and here they come. Here's Henry with Cody the Sheepdog. Isn't this something? Here they come, all 400 of them. See, they go into this fenced-in area that Henry's putting in, and they're going to chomp all that fresh grass from all the rain right here at the Clarksburg Branch Line Trail. And there they all in. We cross. That took about two minutes. Amazing. What's that PD help? Traffic's flowing again. And here we are. So you can come out and see them um, for the next few days. I'm going to bring in Tim Aerosmith right now, and he is the owner of Blue Tent Farms out of Red Bluff, and he's the guy that brought the goats down. Tim, this is uh, it's loud on the intersection. Yeah. Uh, you've been down here before. The goats have been helping us out to chomp down the, the high weeds from, from the rain. Uh, last year you came and this year you came. Tell us uh, how long you're going to be here and what's the mission? Well, the mission is uh, to take down the high grasses that we've got growing this year and every year uh, to you know, kind of reduce the fire danger in and around the homes and things like that. Uh, we'll be here probably for about, uh, I'm thinking, probably the end of April, 1st of May and then we'll be moving on to other locations. So tell the folks how many goats you have and, and what, what, what's the life of a goat uh, doing what they're doing oh, day the to day? Of, life of a goat is pretty good. All they get to move on to is good feed every year I and mean, every, uh, every month they move on. So uh, the, things are good. Do they, how, how, how much do they eat uh, per day? How many, uh, how many acres can you cover? You know, we figure uh, 300 goats will do about an acre a day. So we're covering probably a couple acres a day here. The vegetation's high and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of water in it this year. So it'll take them a little longer, but they'll speed up as the vegetation starts to dry out. And how'd it go with the barge canal? You, you were here for several days. Yeah, uh, we were four or five days along the barge canal there, and they, they ate it down nicely. We might make one more pass over it if we have to, if it grows back this year, and uh, we'll get that taken care of. A lot of folks who have come seen the goats so far uh, love the goats, but they also like the dogs. Tell us about your dogs. Oh, uh, Cody, the uh, Anatolian Shepherd, the big white dog. His life is to watch these, uh, watch these goats, take care of these goats, and any predators get in there or humans uh, tend to bother them. He tries to keep them away. And then you got your, your regular uh, sheep herder dogs. Yeah, and we got our border collies that uh, they take care of any uh, potential blow-ups. If, uh, if they get away from us, then uh, they bring everything back into order real quick. Okay, behind you is Henry, your sheep herder. Tell us about him. He's been with you for a while. He, he handles everything, doesn't he? Yeah, Henry, if Henry says it can be done, it usually can be done. So we've moved, oh gosh, we've done some jobs up the Feather River Canyon where it's really tough country and he's done it well. And Henry comes from Peru and uh, he's got a background in agriculture and, and, and uh, herding. And he's been, uh, he's been in the United States probably a good 10 years, but we've had him for four or five. And he stays with the goats. Uh, I don't know if they can see the camera, but I see the trailer way down the, the trail. So 
he's here 24 7 with 24 the goats, right? 7 is where herders go and uh he may he's not working all the time he's got time down but for the most part he's always on call middle of the night something happens i can call henry and he jumps on it real quick and takes care of the problem all right hey thanks a lot tim i, I gotta tell you the goats are, are very popular in west sacramento and you must see them the kids come out put smiles on their face plus you're doing a good job for the fire department. I so. appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, thanks for joining, everyone. Uh, that was the story of the West Sac goats, and they're going to be moving on from the Branch Line Trail pretty soon, probably in a week, and we'll tell you where they are. So thanks for joining us. If you like this little broadcast, please share and have a great day.